Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today this is a Adams type motor. Uh, I had a lot of requests for a traction mode of this type. So on this motor, it's a lot better to do a traction because the ceramic magnets are much weaker than the Neos. The Neos are too strong to do this with, but um, this is an older motor that I put new timing on, new circuit, um, just to test some things out. So we're gonna run it first in a traction mode, which um, needs to be self-started and then repulsion mode which can start itself um, so if you look right here we have four coils they're just single strand um, two on the bottom two on the top and then four ceramic magnets there's actually three of them stacked on each other and epoxied into the rotor there and then we have our optical timing see the four notches and then our basic circuit with the MOSFET on it. And then we have the scope hooked up to that. Uh, we're running 12 volts. So primary battery, secondary battery. Um, and then we have the output run into pulse capacitor. Um, so that'll be discharging into this battery right here. So let's fire it up and see what you guys think. So this is full power here. We can take a look at the, the RPM. So oh, right at 2000 RPMs. Uh, here's the waveform. Here's our output. It's about six amp pulses about every three seconds there. Uh, the torque is pretty good. You can get it almost to stop at about 5 amps, but free spool we're right at you know, 195 to 2 amps. And we could actually kind of tune it down a little bit, the speed control. And we could still have quite a bit of output to pulse back. And you can see the waveform as we dim it down and start chopping that up. So, so that was in a traction mode. So if you bear with me here, we're gonna switch this over to repulsion mode. Okay, so we're in repulsion mode, and we don't have to adjust the timing um, because it actually just rotates in the opposite direction. The attraction will go this way, so that timing right here, you can see the timing is off right here, and then it'll be on right in the middle, right there, and then turns off right there. So repulsion now is going to go this way. So it's going to attract here with no electricity and then it's going to fire and push it away so this will actually start um, all by itself which is quite convenient uh, but what's interesting is it's just a hair slower let me check the rpms so it's, yeah pretty much identical 2000 rpms uh, but the waveform is quite different. You can see it has a little, little S on the bottom there now. And you can see the this is going up and down. This is the output. So as the capacitor charges up, it goes down and then discharges, comes back up. And here's our output. It's about the same. About every three seconds, six amps. 
And we could dim it down just like we did before. Go a little bit lower on this because of the extra magnetic forces that are going on. We don't have to pull the magnet off the rotor, it actually pushes it off. So the magnet attracts to the electromagnet with zero power and then it fires and pushes it away. So we actually get double action this way. So we turn it all the way up. That's quite a bit more torque. Pretty hard to stop it. Yeah, quite a bit more torque. But besides the waveform, the output's pretty similar. RPM's pretty similar. So leave your comment and let me know what you think. Thanks for watching.